Hey, we got a product review. The uh, delivery guy just came and has delivered this box, which has been sent to me from Beaver Lab. This is a, uh, a USB microscope. Um, they've got a Kickstarter coming up, and apparently this is uh, the world's first IPS, which I guess refers to the uh, screen. Uh, detachable Wi-Fi digital microscope. It's called the uh, Darwin M2, and they said, hey, you want to have a look at it? And I said, sure thing. It could be useful for some electronics work, and we'll look at some other things like... Uh, uh, stuff that you look under microscopes like leaves and um, whatever we can find in the garden and uh, see how this thing performs because I'm intrigued by the uh, the form factor so there's a picture of it there in all its resplendent glory supporting exquisite popular science books complete set of tools Wi-Fi wireless transmission intelligence microscope M2 so in the box we have a user manual. This one's all in English, so that's nice. We've got looks like a uh, some books here for the educational purposes, which oh, and sticker sheets. Yeah, nice. What's this? Oh yeah, stickers for to put the specimens under, so that will stick them down to the um, the sample kind of plate thing, I guess. Little World of Big Fantasy Observation Record Book. Oh yeah, look, little notebook for uh, what you find. We'll have a look at that one in a sec because I'll get everything out of here. And there we go. So there's the uh, good stuff. Specimen Collection Box. Yeah, this is definitely very... Um, education focus which is great because I'm a big supporter of anything STEM or STEAM as they call it now look at that that's actually quite nice nice matte white finish USB port in the back charging and power and whatnot I guess We have got a specimen collection box with all little compartments inside. Nicely done. Labels. Bunch of labels. Even the plastic bags are a little bit premium. They're not like the usual clear stuff. They're like a soft feel to them. Intelligent microscope accessory box. Ah yes, so we got a uh, calibration card with all the really fine markings so you can check your zoom and all that. We got some tweezers, a uh, eyedropper, got some uh, microscope slides in there, and all the slide covers, and then we got the microscope, microscope slides. What's that? We got one, two, three, four, five by four, so we've got 20 slides there, and of course... USB charger and I wonder what that is. USB cable. Are these some sort of magnety things? I'm sure we'll find out what they are soon. What they're used for. And then petri dishes, specimen bottles, usual sciencey stuff. But, last but not least, this is the whole, the whole thing, the, uh, the good part. We've got the screen, and then under this cap is a microscope in there with the focus. Oh yeah, you can see it coming out there, hopefully, just in there. Nice and smooth. I guess that will sit there like that. You ready for the peel? Oh, yeah. Quick note I've just realized what these are for. These little magnets. You see, there's two divots one here and one here. 
they sit there like that to hold your microscope slides. Didn't even have to look at the manual for that. Pretty self-explanatory. Nice. Just getting myself set up here. And I have noticed the manual. Look at this. Color pictures. Color pictures in the manual. Oh, yeah. Nice. That's not something you see very often. Usually it's all black and white. So a lot of it is black and white with uh, nice clean line drawings. Descriptions of what go is going on. But yeah, there's some color pages. That is pretty cool. How to use the app. So we'll have a look at that as well. Yeah. Thumbs up on that one. So how about a quick look at this book. I'm starting to like the artwork already. So let's open this up and see what we got. Just a quick flick through. So we've got a lot of stuff here. Application of the microscope, the history, plant world, insect world, human hair, microcosmos. And, oh, oh they got fold outs. Oh, I do like a good fold out. I'm not going to better get this on the camera, but look at that. Three page. Nice. Not bad artwork at all. This is looking good. Chapter 2, the application in science. Medicine, human red blood cells, archaeology, food surveillance, food inspection, biology, technology. Yeah, technology. That's what my usual use case for microscopes are. Electronics and circuit boards. More foldouts. We love a good foldout. Look at this artwork. It's pretty good. No, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with that. That's um, some nice drawings. It's a whole bunch. Oh yeah, we got some close-up stuff. Some microscope pictures. Yeah. And it's it's quite well made. Like it's uh, the descriptions are pretty simple. So um, it's uh, easy for kids to follow along with. All right. Um. Let's go and see how this thing actually works. All right, we're outside here in the garden. Uh, they told me um, that you don't need to use a whole base. You can actually hand hold this thing. So we'll give it a go. I've got a, um, an ivy leaf here. So I'm going to try and tear this on kind of an angle, if I can, to try and get some interesting stuff on the edges. Let's see if we can see something there. So I'm going to put it on the table. We'll turn this thing on. And there is the edge of our leaf. So that is, that is actually looking pretty close to how I can see in real life. It's a slight, it's an overcast day. It's not direct blasting sunlight, but it's uh, you know mid morning, uh, overcast day, and that is perfectly sunlight readable in the 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 outdoors here where I am. So that's looking pretty all right. It works handheld. Look at that. Alright, back in the lab. I've got it set up here with the little magnetic holders under a slide. I've just got the, the slide laying on top of the uh, a piece of the pedal just to hold it flat because it's a little bit wobble. And that'll give us good focus. And you can see on the screen there, it's showing up quite well. So we can get it right in focus. Just about there. And that's looking pretty good. Now, we can't go down to the cellular level. Um, that's a whole other class of instrument. But um, yeah, you can actually see the structure of the uh, the pedal there. It's all the, uh, the kind of the hairs or the uh, the bumps and ridges and stuff on there, and uh, we can make the background different colours. So it's that optical staining sort of thing they were talking about. So you can get different effects just by turning a knob on the back there. So we're on uh, blue now. We can go up to we've got purple, like a violet colour, and get different effects to see different details. So now we're on uh, red, pink, over to yellow. So that seems to work all right. Now it's going to be a bit, uh, the, the color of flower I have available to me is just an orange uh, petal. So yeah, depending on the, uh, the color and the transparency of your um, 
of your sample, you get different results. So uh, yeah, you just have to play with the settings. You can get brighter and so I can turn that down darker. Automatic gain comes into effect. So that's on the brightest on white. Now of course they um, they have different functions like you can take video. So that's now recording in real time. I don't know if you can see up there on the screen there. That's recording onto the SD card. So you can you know move things around and uh, have a look around at things and make a little video. Press that again. Recording succeeded. You can take photos. So that's I've just taken a photo there by pressing the uh, camera. But on the back you've got um, zoom, which I believe is a digital zoom. But you can kind of zoom in a bit there and uh, see some more detail on the screen. Because you've got the, uh, you can move this thing up and down and you focus it to give you the kind of the optical zoom. And then you've got digital to make the image larger on the screen. Of course, uh, digital zoom isn't like a, a zoom that will bring you more detail. But it can enlarge things so you can see a bit more like, you know, without moving your head closer to the screen. And uh, on the other side, we have the brightness setting for the, the lights that are on the top facing down. On the base, it's the knobs on the side for the light coming back up. So if we turn that right up, that's on the maximum now. And we can turn it right down just to get just the backlighting. So you can play with that until you get the best image quality and you can see the details you want. So let's look at this app. So at the moment I've just got a chip on the screen there, just a UV erasable EEPROM. You can see the memory area, logic area, and then the uh, bondwise. So you want to download the app from the App Store or from Google Play or whatever. So I've got it downloaded here. Just scan the uh, QR code in the manual and you'll find it there on your relevant App Store. Hit the uh, icon, load it up, add a device, Smart Microscope 2, we want that one there, and uh, hit the connect the Wi-Fi. It'll do a scan. And there it is there, DDL M2, serial number, that's the one we want. It'll check the quality of the internet connection. It'll tell us there's no internet, that's fine because our microscope is not connected to the internet. But once it pops up, once it's found that, there we go, always connect. And it's connected without internet. No worries. Hit back, and here we are. So if I hit the button on the top corner there, there is our live feed. Nice. So if I uh, move the chip around, there is a slight lag, but that's just a function of the Wi-Fi. That's not a deficiency of the uh, microscope at all. Works quite well. The uh, image quality is quite good. Uh, it streams nicely. I haven't noticed any like deterioration in image quality when it's close to the uh, scope. So um, yeah, it's working quite well. And uh, we got it. We can take a photo. So that's just taking a photo to the uh, to the internal memory, and we can do the video as well. These replicate the buttons on the um, on the device, which do the same job. It would be nice if we had some extra controls, uh, maybe for adjusting the, the LED brightness and the, the digital zoom. But um, yeah, maybe in a future app we could get that future update. Anyway, we'll head back, and then in the uh, in the home screen, I guess down the bottom here, we've got personal album. That's what's on the phone, what we've downloaded, and over here in the system album. We've got the videos and pictures. So in the videos, these are some videos we've taken before. So there's a circuit board there. And uh, I move it around a bit. So there you go. Looking at different things. If we go back, we can then see the pictures. So there's a picture we just took. Not a problem at all. And there's that circuit board. You can see the quality of the, uh, the solder joins there if you want to use this for um, inspection. And also there's that, uh, that petal from the flower that we, um, we haven't looked at. All the texture and stuff and the, uh, the torn edge. So yeah, oh yeah, another one there. That's um, just some printing on a sticker where they do the, uh, all the dots like the inkjet sort of printing. And you see the mixture of the colours, bit of gold leaf there. So yeah, it's got quite a good detail. So the app works great. It's it's responsive. It's um, yeah, fully functional. Um, there's a few little things like I would probably put this uh, Wi-Fi connection icon as a small one, and then the uh, actual live view as a large icon, just so that when kids are using it, then you know they're going to touch this, and then oh no, what's going on? Um, just to make it more child friendly. 
But um, yeah, the app does work. Thumbs up. All right, so what do I think of this thing after all of that? I think it's pretty good, actually. It does what it's advertised. It, um, it works quite well. It's, um, yeah, it's fun to use. Besides a few little you know, firmware quirks, the button sometimes are a little bit funny, or the, uh, the app could do with some uh, extra features. Besides that, it does actually work. It's, it's, it does what it says on the tin. It's, um, yeah, a good little sco uh, microscope. So, yeah, I think I'm going to give this a good solid thumbs up. If you've got a kid who's, um, you know, looking like they want to get into some of the STEM stuff, well, this could be a good bet. Um, my, my son, he's already begging me to get this video finished so he can get his hands on it and play with it. So, uh, yeah, it's, um, it'll be fantastic for um, a kid who wants to start, you know, exploring the world around him. So, yeah, thumbs up. Hope you found that informative, somewhat interesting, and we'll see you in the next one.